We know that non-pharmaceutical grade growth hormone is not reliable, is bad for you. But then the question is, what's really inside of those shady vials? In 2017, there was a very important study that was published on drug testing and analysis. Those researchers bought a lot of samples of growth hormone from the black market, from the internet, from non-pharmaceutical grade providers. And they found that in no case, the amount of growth hormone was what was declared in the vials, in the label. This is just the beginning of the problems. There was another study prior to this in 2009 with mass spectrometry, and they found out exactly what was inside of those vials. They noticed that, first of all, in a lot of cases, there is nothing but fillers. And those are, for instance, different types of sugars like mannitol, glycine. Why? Because they look very similar. So when you look at the vial, it's going to be identical to growth hormone with real powder, white powder. In other cases, they found degraded proteins inside, not really the 191 chain of amino acids. There were some pieces missing, which made this type of growth hormone ineffective, so useless. Also, in other cases, besides contamination, obviously, they found that there were different types of hormones inside of the vials, and those were human chorionic gonadotropin and insulin. I don't need to explain to you how dangerous that is if for an extended period of time you inject subcutaneously either one. No pharmaceutical grade human growth hormone is never worth to buy unless you know very well your provider and then you're safe. If you cannot afford or don't have access to pharmaceutical grade, then my suggestion is that you stay away from it and you stay natural, which is also very good.